In this video session, we are going to understand how we can group data in Excel. Note that if you have some unwanted column which you would want to hide from the user but still enable them to look into that, you can use grouping. As an example, I don't want let's say last name and program over here. What we'll do is we'll say group, group. So once we do that, you can see there is a minus sign has come. If I click minus sign, the data will get hidden. And if I click on plus, the data will be shown. So this is grouping and we have hidden the columns. When you see the grouping, you will see this one, two has come. If you click on two, it means you are going to the outer level, second level. The data will be seen. If you click on one, the lower level, which is the hidden data will be seen. So this is how it will be done. Next, we want to create subtotal. By the way, if you want to get rid of this grouping, you click on ungroup and ungroup columns. It has ungrouped the C, but I want to ungroup B also. I will ungroup column. We can group again. We can group. And by the way, here when we are ungroup, uh, grouping, it is not asking for column or row. It is automatically selecting the column. Next, let's create subtotal. Please note that to create subtotal, we have to have some way of sorting. We want to create a subtotal by the specialization. So what I will do is I will sort data. So we can sort data in the specialization. So we have created sorting on the basis of specialization. And once specialization we have sorted, we'll do the subtotal. So we'll click on subtotal. See, I, I can place anywhere and I click subtotal. Excel will automatically select the table because it is doing some intelligent work. Now it is asking subtotal has to be done for what? At each change in first name, last name, program, specialization, amount. So let's say we want to do in each change of specialization and then what function you want, whether you want to compute the sum, you want to compute the count. So let's say as of now, we want to do the count. Okay. And on count, I want the specialization count to be done. Right. Let's see. And then it says replace current subtotal page break. If you want, this is for printing purpose. You can do and summary below data and you can say, okay. So what will happen if you see advanced Excel count 32 students. Finance count 41 students, count of marketing HR 13 students, NA count 14 students, grant count 100. So total 100 students are there and you can see that after every count this dash dash has come. This is a page break. If we go again to subtotal and we say uncheck on the page break. So now you can see that there is no page break has and if you want let's say subtotal on the amount we want to use the function sum and say OK. So here you can see total, you can see finance total, HR total and NA total. So that way the grand total has been given to you. This is how you can uh, compute subtotal for a large set of data, especially in, if you are working in uh, invoicing department or for tracking purpose, this is useful. Now if I click on this one, see you are, this is the topmost level. You are only seeing the grand total. If I click on two, you are seeing, let's say finance, uh, HR, NA, and this should be advanced Excel. So please see it is advanced Excel, finance, marketing, HR. If I click on this three, you are seeing the data also. So you have two, three like this you have. Okay. Now, if I want to hide this last name and program, we can say group. So you have one here also. So you can see this one, this one is all hidden data. You expand this last name will come. It is not coming. Now you see because grouping. So, so this is how the grouping is done in Excel. 